Tommy Lee responds to Tamar Braxton over her relationship with Jeremy Robinson. All I said was, he had a nice suit. And from there, he was thirsty. He wanted to fly me out. What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That ate my ass. And I sent him on his way. It wasn't the, I don't know, middle class house that he lives in in Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, because I drive a Rolls Royce, that got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf in points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one night thing. He never got no one thing. JR, you never want to play with me. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out and she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton. Not Mrs. Not Mrs. Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that JR also told me was flex. It was cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. The tour not sold out. He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man less than a week. Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I am not your problem. I don't know you. I wish I was drunk. I wish I was drunk right now. I wish I was drunk because now, nah, that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your motherfucking shit, white bitch. I try to just let you eat my for the motherfucking slaves. For the slaves, bitch. This Hawaii calling me a bitch. I did it for, the, for us. For us, bitch. I don't pink bitch. You got me fucked up. Now I'm about to post your shit. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. She should be supporting you. Yes. And then when he went after her, then she came out with a comment. Of course. But I, I haven't, I mean, between you and I, and talked to Tamar and... His favorite words, between you and I. When I said I don't want to be with her. Oh! She's been trying to get with me ever since. Oh! She's been trying to get with me every day since. Kind of corny ass bitch, yeah, please. Now, you know what I'm going to do to you, boy. Sit on your head. We did. Um, <clears throat> Silly me. I should have just reported. I should have recorded his head in my... I should have recorded that, but you know, I try to keep the moment personal. <laughs> <laughs> he never fucked me, but the, the sad situation is like, we're black, Tamar. I could say your name. I know I'm not a kid. I live too well, baby, and I've never indulged in. Girls. I don't have to keep saying that y'all gonna run or whatever, but we're too black girls letting this, this, I'm not even gonna say the race or whatever, play with us. Like, Tighten up. Tighten up, my girl. I'm not your issue. That is your issue. And sleeping with people like that and trusting them, this be the problem. Y'all be so for the and then want to, yeah, we had an issue. Yes, I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. But once I seen the severity of the situation, I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up, actually. Because I'm at home right now with my man, and we laugh together. We don't give a fuck about this internet shit. And he would never talk to you. You could never motherfucking get that nigga to look your way or something. Now go kiss him in the mouth, ho. <laughs>